Hi, I'm Marie, and here I'm going to show you how I get as much form and colour into all of these little agapanthus buds and stems to produce a vibrant, realistic painting with plenty of depth. So here I've mixed up a really deep dark blue to pick out the darkest areas on my bud. And then I blend it in to the background colours. It's the contrast between these very darkest details and the white areas that I've left on my bud that creates real depth across my painting. I also add in very light washes of any other colour that I see on my subject as this helps to bring it to life and make it three-dimensional and also build up to a much more interesting painting. I use my damp clean brush a lot to blend and manipulate the different areas of colour within the same bud so that I create a surface where the light and dark tones and the different hues smoothly transition into each other. And then when I've finished painting in my buds, I move on to the stems. Now it's really important here to use my light and dark tones to create a curved surface, as I don't want them to look completely flat. So I pick out where the lighter area of the stem is, so where the light is hitting the highest point of the curved surface, and I make sure that I leave this area lighter, and again I just use my clean damp brush to blend through the central areas so that the darker and lighter smoothly transition into each other. And then the final part of this Agapanthus painting is the sheath. And this gives me a really lovely opportunity to add in some deep, rich colour. So here I'm using my burnt sienna to add in the details at the top of it. And then I work on really deepening up the shadow area underneath this lower bulbous part of the sheath. If you'd like to paint the whole step-by-step -step tutorial, the link is below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss plenty more tips and technique videos that'll be coming up soon. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.